If you drive old cars like I do, it would be smart to have AAA because, as you know, these old cars break down. Well, the Beagle broke down today. It sucks. Uh, I've got my wife's car right now. I'm following the tow truck right now. Uh, while I was waiting for it, I checked the main relay. It's clicking. It is getting fuel, so I'm pretty sure it's the spark. I just recently replaced the distributor cap, the button, the wires, the plugs, so it's probably the coil. But I'm going to go ahead and replace the whole distributor. It is the original, so it'll probably be a smart move to replace the whole thing instead of just the coil. It really fucking sucks. I'm not happy. Alright guys, so this is my 95 JDM Civic Shuttle uh, Beagle. Today it broke down. I was just driving down the street and it just died. I was able to pull over into a park parking lot and I let it sit for a little bit. It started up after about 20 minutes, but it died right away. It's getting fuel. The main relay is good. So I'm pretty sure it's not getting any spark. I recently replaced the cap, the button, the wires, and the plugs. But I'm pretty sure it's the coil. And you can feel it get really hot. I have a pretty much brand new distributor that I had replaced on my 91 Civic Wagon right before I converted it to OBD1. So I'm going to swap these out and see if that works. All right, I've got it swapped over. It's pretty quick. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start it. All right, so as you can see, it was a distributor. Um, I'm gonna let it run just in case. Thank God I already had a distributor. I'm not sure how hard it would be to find one. Sounds like I need oil. I'm pretty happy that I already had a distributor, so it makes my life a little easier. I should have took this before I got it towed and just swapped it out. But I have AAA, so it didn't cost me anything. Tow truck. Which way are you going? Where are you going? Those dumbasses get right in front of it. So it's been about two hours since I replaced the distributor. She feels a little peppier, more power. Which, uh, I guess now I realize in the past month, she's been kind of laggy. There's been times where I'll go to start her up and she dies right away. I definitely notice a difference. So to recap the crank no start, there's a few things you should always check. Number one, 
your fuses that's the most easiest most obvious thing to check number two make sure you got fuel if there's no fuel going to the fuel rail then there's no combustion and number three spark if you're not getting any spark the fuel is not igniting and again no combustion now this has happened to me numerous times crank no start and every single time it's been no spark and it's always been the coil every time because of my experience with this happening multiple times the first thing I check is spark always there's one thing everybody's gonna say because I turned the distributor I need to put a light gun on it to make sure the timing's correct I do not own a light gun I just do it by sound and I can tell right now I do need to adjust it but it's not bad if you like this video subscribe like it and share Please allow ads on this channel. All the money that's earned will go towards builds, which means more videos, which means more entertainment for you guys. I got some blood on my hands I don't know who it is from It was a plan I could fight Now I don't know where to run